It is Thursday, welcome back. And today I wanted to address a topic that has been a topic of conversation for pretty much since Matteo was born. Now we are parents of a nine month old and we are learning actually a lot from him. When he wants something, he cries or he makes hand gestures and he's learned to communicate with us. We don't really like the crying it out method. I actually believe that when kids are crying, they're actually trying to tell you something. I believe the crying it out method is a little bit too harsh on the baby. I know that when a baby is crying, he is actually trying to communicate with you and because he can't speak, that is his only way. Of course, when they're older, it's much easier to communicate with them because, you know, they can tell you what they want. But when they are little, it's very difficult for you to figure out if the baby is sick, if he needs changing, if he's crying just because he's bored, it's, it's really complicated at the beginning. But that is precisely why I do not like the crying it out method. Because I want to be able to communicate with Matteo and I want to find out what is wrong. We know that he's not hungry and we know that he's been changed and he's not tired. But he still cries anyway. Um, sometimes he's just bored, sometimes he just wants to let all that energy out. and. Uh, I want to be there for him. I don't want him to just let him cry in it out um, because I feel like he's trying to tell me something. I've met a few mothers, especially older than me, that uh, say that, you know, attending to Mateo's every need and attending to every little cry and every little sound that he makes and carrying him all the time is going to spoil him. And I disagree very much with that. I think you can spoil a baby or a kid uh, by buying them a lot of stuff that he doesn't need and you can spoil him by buying him a lot of stuff without teaching him the value of things. I do not think you can spoil your baby or your toddler by giving him your love and your attention. I don't know what you guys think and that is why I wanted to open this topic of conversation out there because it's Thursday and it's parenting day. And I wanted to know how you felt about it. I know there are a lot of mommies there that are, have babies that are a lot older than Mateo. Also, some of you are pregnant, so you, you probably are picking up ideas for later on. But uh, sometimes it's tough because a baby is crying and you don't really know what's wrong. But I believe that the best way to deal with it is to be there for him and to make sure that he's okay and that he's healthy. And I know that the crying it out method is very famous but I do not believe in it. If I don't respond to that cry, I feel like Matteo is actually telling me, hey mommy, I'm trying to get to reach you and you're not responding. It creates a breach in the communication, like a barrier. And maybe the kid, after a few times of him crying and you're not listening to what he has to say, will give up and just go with the flow. Even when he's older and he will maybe cry for things that maybe we need to teach him not to do, I still need to be there for him. That's why I don't believe in the crying out method. And I do not believe either that you can spoil your son or your daughter by offering all your love and attention and affection. So have you ever tried the crying it out method? How hard was it for you if you did try it? Because I think it would break my heart if I ever had to try it. And I don't think I will. But I would like to know, what uh, have you actually tried? Well, that's all I wanted to say for today. I will see you guys tomorrow and have a great day. Bye!